My brother and I, we couldn't go back to our country because of the war. We lived for a while under a tarp attached to a shipping container. I witnessed the justice system not being fair. It drove me to fight for what's right and for what I really believe in. Now I'm studying law. I've always wanted to be an advocate for vulnerable people. I'm about to apply to do my PhD in visual arts, but go back a few years. I left home at the age of 14 and left school shortly afterwards. Essentially, I was a street kid. I had no home, I had no visa, I had no food, and I had no money not only for myself, but for my children as well. And QUT gave me hope, and they gave me the motivation to complete my degree. I studied film and TV, and now I'm making documentaries to help women in domestic violence situations. We left the refugee camp, and we came to Australia. I studied English, and with QUT's help, I was able to study engineering without worrying about financial pressures. I was so inspired by my course that I managed to get a GPA of 6.75 and I've had a number of exhibitions around the country. Oh, and I've also got three kids. My folks always encouraged me. Sometimes money was tight, being the second oldest of nine kids. Yeah, after my management degree, I want to start a couple of businesses. I want to be able to give back to my community and I want to do some research and education and I want to be there for my family as well. You recognise our potential and you believe in us. That's far more important than the money. I want to say with all my heart, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Asante. I really can't thank QUT enough.